Hello everyone, I am Niranjan. In this session, I will show you how to do part drawing of a drill jig. So this is the drill jig. There are nine parts. The first one is a base plate, stem, jig plate, screw, stud, nut, bush, latch washer and screw. The first part is a base plate. So let us start with the part number one. So dimensions are provided 156 diameter 110 60 and the thickness is 20 and 40 i solve this using software so let's start the drawing now i am going to assign the dimension of it so as you can see that is 156 is the diameter divided by 2 is 78 thickness is 20 and the total length is 40 and uh, this thickness is 5 and from here to here it is 60 60 not 60 55 110 divided by 2 55 and from here to here it is 30 60 divided by 2 now you can see it is fully defined so come out from the sketch go to features you can go for revolve option select the axis of revolution and give once 360 degree now we can see there is a chamfer is there select chamfer and you can see in the diagram in the right side the lengths are given 3 mm so i'll assign 3 and let it be 45 degree select the sides say okay i selected three edges and we need to do a hole in the base and you can see the hole dimensions are provided in the part number 2 what is the hole size the hole size is a yeah i'll just show you yeah you can see in the part number two three volts of m6 so you mean you need to provide three volts at an angle 120 degree now we'll assign the dimension of this m6 nothing but major diameter 6 and the distance is given 20 mm from here to here 40 divided by 2 it is 20 and diameter 6 say ok go to features you can go for cutout option and you can cut out for entire length through all so i am done with the first part so revolve i will go because three holes are there i will go to revolve entity that is circular pattern circular pattern so where is the feature i just open a tree and cut out you can select and parameter i am going to select this is the parameter now we can see three parts say ok so i am done with the part number one i just save this part now select the go to again new i am doing the second part that is stem go to sketch again so in the second part again I am using a revolve command and the dimensions are assigned yeah. so this is the second part the total length is 98 and this diameter is given 54 54 divided by 2 it is 27 and the base diameter is 60 60 divided by 2 will be 30 here the two dimensions are not provided one is this is 50 50 divided by 2 will be 25 now you can see here this dimension is not provided so i am assuming this as 25 based on the drill jig plate thickness here i am assuming 30 say ok go to features again go to revolve entity select the axis and let it be 360 degree this is part number two and again go to chamfer 
and give the side as 5 mm and select the edges and we need to place a hole of m20 go to wall wizard go to position you can place it here i am going to place exactly in the center and you can go to type of hole and you can select the size is 20 and the depth is given that is 54 the depth is 54 say ok I did a hole of M20 so what is left is we need to place a 3 hole go to sketch again again you need to place a dia of 6 M6 hole 6 mm is the diameter and you can say from the center it is 20 mm now better you can use the hole option instead of cutout so right now i'm in a cutout option i don't want to go i just discard it i place a hole go to feature select a hole i need to place the hole here go to position select the hole in this face and go to smart dimension right now it is some distance I am just making this and this wall and this one should be coincident coincident and this is 20 go to smart dimension select this as 20 and this diameter will assign it later say ok go to type here you can select the whole size as 6 mm whole size as 6 mm and what is the depth you can select depth as 25 depth as 25 mm say ok now repeat the same procedure of circular pattern and parameter will be this circular one let it be 3 so I am done with the part number 2